Super quick, super easy, super tasty. Broccoli pasta. Now I love those pestery flavors, pine nuts, the parmesan, the herbs that come through it, except we're gonna kind of make a, a deconstructed pesto. All of those sort of flavors that go through it, but I'm gonna swap the basil out for rocket. So it's got a bit more of a spice, bit more of a kick to it. It's quite peppery, all right? So these are the shells, pasta shells here. I've got a pan of boiling salted water, all right? It's already seasoned. No oil on the top, none of that stuff, all right? I'm just gonna put the pasta straight in. So we've got about 12 minutes to get this cooked. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fry in pan here on a medium heat. This is English rapeseed oil. It's British, supportive of British farming is great. It's got a wonderful flavor, lovely color. And then into that, I'm gonna put pine nuts. Now pine nuts form the base of pesto. It gives it that kind of rich creaminess, all right? So we're gonna put a couple of handfuls. We're gonna fry them off, get a bit of color on them, okay? Now the pasta, give it a little stir. Pine nuts are cooking. Now to go with that, the broccoli, all right? So I'm just gonna take the head off and I'm gonna keep the stalk, all right? Now the stalk I'll use for something else. The broccoli here, instead of like breaking it into florets, I'm gonna slice and chop nice and thin. This is gonna be part of the pesto, as you can see. It all just falls apart. It's gonna help create this lovely kind of paste to coat the pasta with, all right? So that is the broccoli ready. Here, we've got the rocket. Chop that as well just like the broccoli. Squish it all up, run your knife through it. Now, as these pine nuts are beginning to brown and caramelize, their own natural oils are beginning to come out. And be very careful, all right? You don't want to burn them. I've got three different types of cheese. I've got Parmesan, I've got a blue cheese, and I've got some mozzarella. First thing I'm gonna do, grate the Parmesan. You can see now these pine nuts beginning to get that toasty color, and the smell is fantastic into those nuts. Now, just as they're toasting, I'm gonna put the broccoli, and that's gonna fry in the oil, but also in that pine nut oil. Give it a good stir, and that broccoli will break down. Grate some more Parmesan. Little bit of blue cheese, okay, this is Stilton. You can use whatever you want. I love that kind of blue cheesy flavor. It's got a bit of a tang to it, a bit of a kick. Break that up into chunks, ready to go in. And then here, I've got some mozzarella. I'm just gonna take a chunk of that, cut that into cubes, I've got me three cheeses. I've got me broccoli and the pine nuts cooking away. I've got me pasta boiling. And you can see that broccoli is beginning to steam itself from its own natural waters that are in it. But to help it along the way, I'm gonna give it a little pinch of rock salt. And you'll see it slightly change color. It'll become a bit more vibrant, a bit greener, just from adding the salt. At this point, I'm gonna put the rocket in. Now, if you wanted to, you could add mushrooms to this could have some olives, they'd be delicious. You could put fresh basil in it, it's amazing, you know. Instead of using rocket, if you like that basil flavor, that's fantastic. Okay, at this point, the pasta is cooked, okay? Here, just for this purpose, so you can see, I'm draining it into a colander, but I'm gonna keep a little bit of the pasta water, all right? Because that is gonna form our sauce. And they're gonna go in, to the broccoli now. There's a little bit of moisture in them. And that's gonna help form a sauce. At this point, the blue cheese goes in, Parmesan, and then a little bit of the pasta water, okay? The blue cheese will melt, the pasta water, the natural starches, the Parmesan will mix together. Pinch salt, cracked black pepper, mix it all together. In you go with the mozzarella cheese. Stir it around, and then, Simply serve it, rich, creamy, broccoli pasta, not a jar of pesto in sight. The recipe and the method is in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, send me some pictures of your pasta dishes. Who knows, I might have a go at making them myself. See you soon.